Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Frankie's Tarot. This is Frankie and this is your tarot reading. I am going to take a look at what is manifesting for you since that new moon in Taurus. I'm all about that on this channel, all about manifesting for you and through the cards. So let's see, things should be moving now and the seeds that you have planted should be uh, starting to sprout. All right, so just keep watering them, and I'm going to take a look at whatever spirit has for you. Take a look at, like I said, themes, what might you might not be seeing coming in, and I'm always going to look at love for you, and at the end, each zodiac sign, Aries through Pisces, uh, to get an in-depth of what to expect, what you're manifesting for each sign. All right, let's take a look. This next seven days or so, I'm always setting the intention for the next seven days or so, um, uh, wherever, you, whenever you get this, you're getting that energy. All right, so let's see. Woo, where is the whale? The whale. I brought my watery cards out because we are moving into beach time season. I don't I don't know Aquarius? Please, you guys always accept me. All right, your voice matters. Speak your truth. That is very interesting. Let's see, Aquarius, what do you need to speak up about? What are you holding back on? All right. I will say your voice matters because what you're saying is manifesting. All right. Our words are our magical wand. And so be careful to, you know, not to lie to yourself or hold back. Hold back anything. Speak exactly what you want into the universe. Let's see what else is manifesting for you. All right, faith. All right, you have the two of swords showing up for your energy. The ten of wands covering you. All right, perception is showing up around you. All right, you the crone. You are wiser than you, you are wise, wiser than your years, right? And I feel like the universe is saying to say through me, you know better, you know, you know. I don't know why, all right? But you're not seeing yourself as clearly as other people are seeing you right now. Uh, your scars may be wearing you down. Um, take a closer look in the mirror. Your scars are your battle wounds. People are more impressed with you than you realize. Um, you could be very stressed holding yourself back because you're not seeing yourself for who you really are, the qualities that you really have. And you're holding back your best qualities. And I'm getting it's time for Aquarius to step up and speak up and... Um, and you need to see yourself clearly. Because you've got the crone energy and you've got the perception. And the crone is somebody who's very, very powerful, very a uh, humanitarian, right? She's, you know, older, wiser, been through it all. Enough's enough. I come first. I don't take any shit. And give is service is becomes a service or something, you know of the world, you know, does something bigger. You are meant for something bigger. And stop dabbling in, in you know, self-doubt or insecurities. We have a union coming in and we have, you have to have faith. All right. You have to have faith. I, some of you, as we get older, we get more beautiful, more wiser. And you may not be feeling that. You may be, that's, that. you know, I think that, I haven't run into that a lot lately. A lot of people I know, they get to a certain age and then they start to think, you know, I'm not as pretty as I used to be, or I'm not as handsome, I'm not as, in, and I'm not as strong as I used to be. I'm not as, you know, fit like when I was 18 and, you know, Come on. You are attract, you will attract in the union when you step into who you become and who you are. 
and see everything you've been through, all your experiences that you've been through, all the hard times at 10 of 1, all the responsibilities you've taken on, all the things that you've accomplished in your life. You're going to call in somebody who sees that, sees right through that. This person who's coming towards you or the person that is meant to be with you with this union card is going to see through your mask, your fears. Well, wow, Aquarius, I didn't expect this one to go so deep. Hopefully you're still hanging in there with me. Let's see what else is manifesting for you. You've got a special union. Falling in a union. And I know a lot of you during that new moon, I mean, everybody's planting seeds and tensions, you know. And, you know, I just, I've been doing this long enough, all right, for the people that are like, everybody wants connection and love in their life. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're only here at Tarot to find love. And, you know, for the people that make comments like that, you know, there's nothing wrong with being at Tarot to find love. And there's nothing wrong with wanting love in your life. All right. So when you declare that you don't want love in your life, you're not looking for it. You're lying to yourself. Because why are you at a love reading? Even though I do, and you all know, I talk about everything and I'm all about spirituality and healing and growing. All right. We got a queen of pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles showing up for you. We have the Empress card showing up for you. The Seven of Wands. And the King of Cups. The Three of Wands. All right, so you are manifesting here. The seeds have been planted. The Empress card is showing, knowing your worth, grounding yourself. The Seven of Wands. All right, defending yourself against any dark light, any any kind of negative energies around you. Um, you have a, a Taurus, you have a Virgo Capricorn energy around you, and you have a strong King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong Taurus. The Ten of Cups is showing that you are manifesting in abundance, a blessing, in deep connections, soul family, soul tribe, strong union. The Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is reminding you of how hard you've worked to get to where you're at. The Eight of Pentacles is saying use your skills as well too uh, to manifest in more money and abundance because you are blessed with skills with that Eight of Pentacles. You are a master of something. You are blessed with skills and you have the ability to create a lot of wealth in your life. The seven of wands is protecting your feelings, protecting your emotions, protecting um, your sensitivity. Some of you may need to open up a little bit. All right. So that is coming through. You have the queen of pentacles and you have the seven of wands. Some of you may be super hyper independent and it's hard for you to be vulnerable. It's hard for you to let people see um your truth, see what's going on. And this is another reason I see your voice matters, speak your truth. The seven of wands. Getting comfortable with that, getting comfortable with speaking up, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable, being comfortable expressing your feelings. The Empress card is showing the things that you have been planting, the seeds that you have been planting. You're going to see, you know, them start to sprout up over the next few weeks. You have very loving people around you with the Ten of Cups and the Empress and the Queen of Materials. There could be a very strong, influential female figure coming into your life, very powerful. Partnership could be helping you. You could be stepping up into a boss role too as well. The Empress card is showing divine love, abundance coming your way. So let's see Aries through Pisces. You are, like I said, getting strong water energy, strong earth energy showing up for my Aquarians. Yep. 
be Aries or Pisces. I've been in a really queen of swordsy energy, and it feels like my readings are like. <laughs> I love when I tap into the queen of swords. That's the card I pulled for myself today. It made sense. Aries, eight of wands. All right, so what we're doing is looking at uh, what you're manifesting um, when it comes to relationship. What's showing up for you with each zodiac sign? Page of Swords. All right, the Lover's card. All right, so you got an Aries. You have an Aries attention. You guys, the synchronicity I just saw in the corner of my eye is going to validate this entire reading. You are manifesting in a huge blessing. The, an Aries, Eight of Wands, expects a lot of communication. The Page of Swords, all right? Thinking about you, curious about you, wanting to connect to you, expect messages, the lover's card, all right? A love affair with an Aries. Taurus, the temperance card, seven of cups, knight of wands, all right? Again, passion coming in with a Taurus, a romantic date, very lustful, very chemistry, a lot of chemistry, seven of cups. You guys both fantasize about each other. The temperance card, all right? This is unfolding. So it shows me you got to have patience here a little bit with the temperance card. is showing a Taurus coming your way. Gemini, the magician. Gemini is manifesting you. The Ten of Swords. Maybe you guys broke up. The Sun card. You're going to be very happy with a Gemini. Seems as though a lot of magic happening with Gemini. They do want a new beginning with you. Um, if something has ended, they want to let go of the past. Cancer, King of Swords. So maybe water energy is picking up on air energy right now. Because Cancer is coming up as the King of Swords. You know, that's just wild. I was thinking in my own head. I was just, all right, four of cups. All right, and the knight of pentacles. So your cancer is starting to see things differently. Your cancer is starting to look at the brighter side of things. Your cancer, you're working really hard. They they appreciate you. All right, so cancer is a little bit distant, aloof, and cold, but they're starting to smell the roses and thinking about a long-term relationship with you. Leo, the devil, ace of swords, the moon card. You have a little uncertainty around a, a Leo right now, all right, but you still manifest an in-communication with the Leo, the devil card. They've got some drama. They've got some toxic energy around them. They've got some fears, doubts, you know, addictions, anything like that. The devil card. Maybe they're learning to release it. Maybe they're trying to release it. The moon card is showing you have a lot of fear and anxiety and you feel like they've deceived you. You may get the truth about that. They may open up and be honest with you. Virgo, the strength card, the empress. Virgo, you have strong earth energy. I'm telling you, Taurus and Virgo so far and Cancer is, is there too as well. Gemini, I mean, you have... Uh, all right, the hanged man. This is about you seeing things from a different perspective with a Virgo. All right, let go a little bit. Surrender and trust with the Empress card. The Empress card is bringing in your manifestation. So uh, Virgo is coming your way. Virgos are um, the Empress with you. Very strong bond. Libra, three of swords, the six of pentacles, and the knight of swords. So you're manifesting a Libra who wants to make peace with you. All right, wants to give an offer. They're finally ready to give in. Uh, you know, the three, they're the three of swords. They're more disappointed than you think. All right, hurting more than you than you know. Scorpio, five of wands, the six of wands, and the seven of swords. Scorpio can't fight their feelings for you, but they don't trust you. <laughs> well, you don't trust them. <laughs> but they can't fight the feelings. You guys pulling each other together. Sagittarius, five of swords, the wheel of fortune, and the four of wands. Sag can see a future with you, but they're scared shitless, and um, they're fighting it as well. Seems as though they're they're willing to take another chance or willing to take a chance with this. Capricorn, the tower card, the king of cups. 
and the two of swords you've got to make a choice here you're not you're uncertain but it seems as though capricorn maybe a breakup or something that has happened has shown them the light it seems like a capricorn has deeper feelings for you or their feelings are growing for you aquarius the nine of swords the seven of wands and the six you're manifesting in a reunion with an aquarius another aquarius and there's a lot of pain regret the seven of wands the Six of Cups, this is about you. It's the same message. Your voice matters. It's about speaking up, speaking your truth. Um, this might be about you. Maybe you have some regrets and you want to say something to somebody from your past. Um, but either way, you and an Aquarius are, are a mirror in each other. There's a lot of regret, things that were said. There's a block there, Seven of Wands, something needs to be said. Six of Cups shows that you're, you're wanting to, to reconcile with them. Pisces, Eight of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Two of Wands. So you're still manifesting in a Pisces. They've been, there's a setback with a Pisces. Uh, you might be playing the waiting game for a little bit. Seems as though they're ignoring you. The Nine of Wands, though, is saying don't give up. The Two of Wands is showing a possibility of um, bringing in a new opportunity for a date or contact. You have the Ten of Cups there. The Ten of Cups is what you're manifesting in. All right, you're manifesting in this beautiful union, uh, togetherness, a blessing when it comes to love and relationships. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Take care.